Let's talk about extrusion tensioners. Uh, so I leveled and flattened the bed of this Anycubic Cobra 2 Max, and you can see if I put a straight edge on the bed, with all things out of the way, it is flat. So you can see if I put a straight edge on the bed, with all things out of the way, it is flat. Uh, at least flat enough. I mean, there's a little tiny bit of a low spot over here, but it is not significant whatsoever. At least my experience has been that's not significant. Yet, uh, with a flat bed and auto leveling done, um, on this machine, I was pulling my hair out. I could not get it to produce a consistent uh, first layer. Um, and what was most frustrating about it is it did initially after I flattened the bed I was getting consistent great first layers and then all of a sudden it was producing first layers like this with the test print and I don't know if you can pick this up in the camera uh, but this particular circle is flat and smushed the the nozzle was too low um, you can see that uh, it is well put together in the areas where there's no gaps I can't pull it apart um, and it's very thin, almost like paper thin, but yet you've got separations in lines and you've got layers like this. The nozzle's clearly too high, lots of stringing, um, yet uh, I still couldn't get it to put together um, the individual layers. And what was compounding the frustration is I would print this test print once and I would have one of these symptoms. I'd make an adjustment print it again, it would print, um, you know, sometimes fine, sometimes not fine, but um, ultimately I was, I was getting to the point where I had a good print, and then I would print again, and it looked exactly the opposite of good. I mean, it was, I'd get one good print, and then I'd get a print that looked like this, and then I'd get another good print, and then I'd get a print that looked like this, and I was, I was pulling my hair out. So what I realized is, um, you know, I was trying to apply critical thinking and understanding how these machines work and um, what could be causing this. And this is the only machine that was doing it. The other Cobra 2 that I have was not doing this. And um, what I found was there is a tensioner here. You see this hole. If you put a uh, Allen key in there, I think it's two and a half millimeters. Um, what that's going to do is apply tension to what I believe is a um, a, a pulley basically that pushes the filament into a gear that's driven by the extruder motor and if that pulley is too loose uh, what can happen is the filament can slip on that gear of the extruder and then you don't get as much filament out of the out of the nozzle as the machine expects and so I think what that causes as a symptom is what you see here where you have a nice squished section of filament here and then all of a sudden you get no filament and then all of a sudden you get a blob the nozzle catches that it drags it a little bit and then it continues and i think this is a symptom i believe that your tension on the extruder is too loose what you want to do um at least what i did is go to the menu here and go to tools go to filament and then you can just hit pla that will um you know, heat it up. Uh, and then what we want to do here is play with the extrude. So, you know, set it to a distance that makes sense for you. Um, I was starting at 100 millimeters just because that causes the motor to drive long enough to actually make an adjustment while it's while it's feeding. So we'll do that. And, um, and then what I'm going to do is when I hit the extrude button, I'm going to actually put a little pressure on the filament. So I'm going to go ahead and hit, hit extrude. And it looks like it's kind of struggling a little bit, but it's kind of pulling good. So I'm going to increase the tension until it can overcome the slight tension that I'm putting on the filament and pull the filament consistently through. And let me hit it one more time. So I'm going to hit extrude. And I can feel it's pulling through my finger. I've got a, you know, light pressure on the filament but noticeable pressure and it's pulling through just fine but we want to see does that filament have gear teeth marks in it the extruded filament 
because if it has gear teeth marks, that means that we're digging so deep into the filament that it's deforming it before it extrudes, which means it's not going to be consistent. And in my experience, that's hard to achieve, but that's what I saw on the internet. So anyway, um, after you're done bed leveling and after you're done auto calibration and um, you know, maybe before you start to hit your test prints and do your Z offset, um, you might want to consider checking the tension on the extruder um, just to make sure that the machine is capable of spitting out consistent layers of film because if it's not spitting out consistent layers of films, uh, then it's going to, um, your, you know, your print quality is going to suffer. So hope that helps.